Yes, my dears. I hope you are all fine. We are here today to add objects. So I am having my heading as adding objects, adding objects. And we are going to add objects. What does this mean? Let's have examples. Examples first. Yes, in our examples, we shall have the first example, having having balls. Now, we shall do what we did the other time. Put all the objects here in that set. So we are going to get that ball. I mark it. Then take that one. Mark it, take that other one, and the last one there. Now, let's count these objects. Let's count together. One, two. Again, one, Two. So we shall have two. This time we are not writing the word and. We are putting a plus sign. It is called an addition sign. And this is how it looks like. It's like a cross. It's like a cross. But it tells us to add objects. It tells us to add. It is the addition sign. It is the addition sign, okay? We call it the addition sign. Mm -hmm. So we count the members in this other set. Let's count together. One, two. I will write two. So we want to find out what does this and that make. But this time we have written using that addition sign. But when we are reading, we shall read it as two plus two. Everybody say plus, plus, plus. We shall read it as plus. So we have two plus Two, we want to find out what they make. And we shall use this sign here. That one is an equal sign. It is an equal sign. After this sign, we put the answer. We put what we have got. Okay? So what does it read? We read it as two plus two equals dash. Two plus two equals something. We shall be getting something here, okay? So we count the objects again. One, two. We wrote our two and we say two plus another two gives us equals, this is the equal sign. So we have two plus two equals, we count these ones here. Let's count together, children. 
One, two, three, four. So our answer will be four, okay? That is what we are doing today. We are adding objects. We are adding objects. Let's add some more objects in example two. It is very simple work, okay? Don't worry, you will understand. In our second example, we shall add girls. Let's add girls. Remember to draw better than me. so that we can be able to put our answer. We have these girls and those ones. What do they make? We are going to start with one by one. Can we count together? I mean, can we draw together the first one? I mark the first one. The second one. Oh, they have hands. I had forgotten the hands. The third one. Mm-hmm. Then I bring these ones. I mark that one. Another one here. Mark her. Another one. Then another one. I mark half. Let's count and see what we have. Let's count together. One, two, three. We shall have three. And we say this time we are not just going to write that word, we are going to use the addition sign. So I will say three plus. Three plus. Let me write it better. Can everybody see it? It is like a cross. Plus, let's read, I mean, let's count these ones. One, two, three, four. There are four. So I will put four. So we have three plus four equals three plus four equal to what? Three girls plus four girls equal to what? We want to find out what is three and four. What do we get when we add them together? Let's count the girls that we drew 
just right there. Okay, let's count together, children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you count again? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get seven. And what does it mean? It means three plus four gives us seven. Okay? Now, we shall have one more example. And that will be example three. That is going to be our example three. And what are we going to add? This time, let's add, what should we add? Let's add, let's add books. Let's add books. We're having those books. Then we have others here. We have these books and those ones. We want to find out what do they make. We shall draw all these books there. Now, my dear children, we have looked at two examples and I'm going to give you a few minutes. You do just three numbers. Can you imagine just three numbers? And I am very sure each of you will get everything correct. So here is our activity for today. And what does it say? It says, add the objects. The instruction says, add the objects. You're going to add the objects. Remember you're counting the objects here. Then you count the objects here and put everything there. Put the objects here and the objects here, there, then, you count them and find out what you get after adding. So you have just three numbers. One, two, and three. 
Okay? I'm giving you a few minutes to complete my activity. Remember, it is bad to dodge the teacher's work. So open your books and write. Okay? That is what we had today. Thank you very much.